Hello everyone, in this video tonight we'll do a reading about should I make a specific effort, specific efforts towards him or her or let the universe take its course. So should you do something when it comes to this relationship that person like initiate or be more assertive or should you just let go and let things happen on its own if you'd like to participate please think of a person and let's choose a deck one deck for one person should you act or should you let the universe take its own course when it comes to this person have you chosen so let's start with our deck number one and it's the um, modern spellcasters tarot So I'm gonna probably do a situation problem advice outcome type of reading situation problem like challenge problem advice what you can do and outcome also should you do something or let the universe take its course situation is the wheel of fortune this card could say that this is some sort of like a relationship that is it's been like a lucky one it could be a karmic one or something that has happened through some sort of synchronicities and like you know unexpected events uh, like aha moments and all these deja vu moments you know so there might be this kind of luck lucky thing lucky thing going on and uh, you might add a bit of that mystical element to that relationship you might think this is fated relationship you might think this is a special relationship so i don't want to comment whether this is fated it's just could be that sometimes some people believe in fate all the time and some people think it's just a coincidence you know so yeah something like an opportunity that could be that could be revealed let's see but with hangman and justice it says that the opportunity all major arcana by the way that uh, it's been kind of stuck and uh, maybe a decision needs to be made in a way how, how to go about things and um, some sort of balance needs to be kept and also this card talks about various restrictions of oneself towards this relationship for example thinking is it gonna work is it not gonna work is this person perfect is it not perfect should i say something should i not say something is appropriate you know fear to go against the rules maybe or moral principles that's something like that so basically some sort of stiffness is going like you're stifling that opportunity that spontaneity is gone you know that sort of feeling now what is the challenge it's of course inactivity challenges nothing is happening they are not doing anything you're not doing anything everything is very kind of resting in peace and taking a break so king of cups and ace of pentacles maybe you want that person you're interested in that person you, you like them but there's no yeah you're afraid to act advice the tower now the tower can from one side uh, say break the silence and break that wall and something has to change something has to be done it cannot be the way it was from but from the other side it could be 
like nothing good will come out of it. So let's pull two more cards to seven of wands and death. Okay, so tower, death and seven of wands. Uh, so I think the advice is not to act. Okay, the advice is not to act. Although you want to act, you think you you can do that. You can. You have the energy and you believe in it enough in order to fight for it. But the cards like Tower and Death, it says no. And um, I don't know why. This so for sure, it's a no. Uh, Maybe there is a reason. Maybe it's dangerous. Maybe, you know, some something like that. So what's the outcome? What's going to be between you and that person? Chariot is most likely <clears throat> separation and distance between you two. King of Pentacles and Three of Pentacles and a possible, like a, like a partnership and work going on between you so some sort of interaction but maybe long distance or maybe uh, romantically far from each other but you're communicating on <clears throat> that sort of level like um, practical level more helping each other or doing something together you know that sort of thing now two cards should you take action when it comes to them King of Wands, or should you let the universe take its turn? Okay, King of Wands. Both cards talk about wisdom and knowledge and understanding. King of Wands is more action-oriented. Hermit is more, so to say, he is thinking, you know, he's more thinking. So let's double check. Should you take action? You should take a uh, professional action. Yes, professional action. It doesn't talk about romantic action. So some sort of financial professional action can work with this person, can um, help develop something, you know, with this person. So, but most likely... It doesn't show like friendship or like romance. Should you let the universe take its turn? Okay, so. Yes, I think uh, that in a way In a way, it says that universe is very busy. Universe is very busy, <laughs> and universe is working through them, maybe, or through other people, because work is non-stop. Some sort of interactions, responsibilities. Uh, you know, people are talking, people are getting together, building something together. You know, something is happening. So it's like universe. Yes, it's, take, it's taking care of things. It's it's always working. It's always busy. And you don't need to take all responsibility on your shoulders because um, everyone has their inner guidance and every, every single object and thing has their own inner, some sort of intelligence that, and they are connected to that universe directly, just like you are. And yet it shows that things that happen in the universe is not dumb, it's working uh, its ways and everything is great developing. So the only advice here, I, I can see the blockages, that something is not happening, you want it to happen, you like this person, uh, maybe you want to interact with them, you want to experience them more, but it's advising only to work with that person and, um, you know, to not do anything dangerous, not do anything risky, you know, and um, maybe that sort of, action that you want to take you shouldn't take it so let's say on a practical level you can uh, like work on like 
talk about daily things, do not talk about philosophical things, talk about responsibilities, what you did today, like daily routines, you know, money is a great way to communicate with this person, uh, it could be, um, you know, something very neutral and boring, kind of, but not better not to philosophize, better not to go deep, better not to provoke this person, you know, because I think it's better to keep on a safer side and be just like very um, practical, let's see. So that's what it seems. Oh, that's what seems in this reading. Let's move on to our deck number two, Druid Club Tarot. And we're asking, should you make a specific specific efforts towards uh, him or her, or let universe take its course? So, situation, your relationship, challenges, uh, advice, and most likely outcome also, should you take uh, the action, you know, and efforts towards this person and or should you let it decide for the universe <clears throat> so situation is the the emperor card well the emperor card can talk about um brave situation strong situation uh, we have also the death card and the six of Pentacles. So maybe it's a situation of interesting relationship. Maybe it's a situation of helping someone with a difficult like situation financially. Uh, maybe it's um, a situation where. Um, Maybe it was painful before somehow, or maybe it was even non-existent. Maybe you had a fight with this person, or maybe there was some sort of like um, not, not, not talking with each other or emptiness that you felt, like big change that happened in this relationship. But uh, right now this person started helping you, or maybe you started helping them. There is some sort of generosity going on, care, like someone's taking care of each other. Um, maybe you are taking care of each other, like like donating money, helping financially, giving things, uh, giving attention, doing favors, you know, taking care uh, of your physical health and well-being. So there is some sort of protection going on more. What is the biggest challenge? The hangman. Again, lack of action and more like... Uh, stalemate situation seems to be very passive not developing no great changes everything seems to be stuck maybe um, it shows that it might be stuck due to um, um, a per person's inactivity maybe um, you change your strategy from being very active and inspired to very non-active and non-inspired Maybe you've changed what you want in life recently. And um, you know, maybe a person lost interest, you know, maybe you lost interest. So maybe you decide to walk away from this relationship, you know, that sort of um, situation, everyone is waiting. and but it seems like you really wanted to advise. Well, advice is to be uh, secure, is to think about financial uh, first and your security, your safety. But um, these cards also talk that you can pull it off, you can pull it off being active. In this relationship, maybe some sort of uh, reasons for secure uh, concerns, I'm sorry your security and uh, wanting to keep things the way they are and being afraid to do a mistake or something, to lose something, can be even losing financially, maybe you haven't done anything or spoken anything, but these cards are saying that it's very important to communicate and speak and that you can do that. 
if you're afraid, it says don't be afraid, you can do that. Uh, outcome is a good card. We have Eight of Pentacles. We have the situation ongoing. We have a situation developing. And we have... Um, uh, someone being in their own head, thinking a lot, being very wise. So it can be a job, a job working as a, I don't know, thinker, philosopher, teacher, uh, tarot reader, some sort of astrologer, you know, and uh, keep having this insightful personality. Uh, maybe studying a lot in some ways studying a lot being guided by a higher intelligence let's see again two cards should I, should I act should you act yes two times we have in this situation you could act actually show efforts What kind of efforts? We have lovers and the moon card. It can be creative efforts. It can be romantic. Um, some sort of efforts like initiating unity with this person, offering some sort of idea, a solution, And communicating your ideas, let's say that person. So, yeah, action is recommended. And what if you let it be decided by the universe what you want? This is also fine. Universe has its own ways also so information will be delivered to that person through dreams through some sort of experiences through psychic experiences through telepathic things it's n nothing ever goes anywhere everything is in our field informational field so i feel that universe always is more powerful and universe always knows how to um, work and how to communicate so in this case I think either is good but somehow it's advice for you to um, if you want to it's to communicate you know the last cards can indicate um, being detached because of work that you do being very serious about your work so it can sometimes affect relationships you know, like you're being more secluded, let's say, thinking in your head and doing something. Okay, deck number three, Light and Shadow Tarot deck. And we're reading about, should I make specific efforts towards him or her, or let universe take its course? Okay, a relationship reading situation, problem or challenge, Advice. And I'm very sorry about this doorbell again. It's always making me jump during the reading. Okay, and what is the outcome? Also, should you take action in this situation or should you let the universe to take its course? Situation is the chariot. A chariot can represent many things, can represent the distance, can represent determination. Um, for example, you wanting to 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 kind of get that person and doing action on stop to in order to get them. So yeah, it can be love, it can be like a new beginning, excitement you know, and fighting very strongly for that excitement for that person. And you know, trying to, to get there. And 
to 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 make them be with you or something like that uh, the cards can be a little bit aggressive you know the the chariot and the five of wands um, but then it shows that it's inspired by you know the ace of cups is feelings and the ace of pentacles is that promise of a new experience and opportunity okay what is the challenge or a problem here we have the devil devil could indicate obsession and attachment to that person and one of those toxic a little bit relationships where you feel you cannot live without that person you know so that sort of situation can be unhealthy crush you know that's something that's uh taking all the energy away from you that's making you not sleep at night Ace of Wands and Six of Wands. Again, very strong energy. Maybe this person really seduced you. Maybe they really inspired you and you're just going crazy about them. You're feeling like this has lots of potential, that this has lots of um, three aces already here. You know, we have in the these two cards, we have three aces going on. Lots of Wands. So it's could be like you feel you achieved a lot in this relationship and you feel it you could go further you know here and that doesn't let you you know calm down that idea you might be very passionate about this so that's the only kind of problem if we can say that what is the advice for you regarding this person it says death well death means let it go let's finish break it up stop <laughs> that sort of advice or transform the way it is and we have the queen of wands and the prince of swords well it can say that this might not be what you think it is you know you might think this is it and what in real life it is it's just the hormones it's just chemistry it's just something a uh, pretty vain uh, something that might not bring results those deep and wanted results that you are thinking about it all must, might be in vain it all might be wrong it all might be not what you imagine mm -hmm. and so that's sort of advice here and what is the outcome the hermit lots of major arcana here the hermit will most likely say talk about you know, not being together being separately from each other uh, but also getting very serious and philosophical maybe we have four of swords and the seven of wands so it's like being a bit in that almost getting ill because of the situation because of that intensity that intensity might burn you you know uh, when that you want so strongly or you're so passionate and you're wasting all your energy you know in order to get that person or talk to them or being afraid about them or worrying about them or thinking about them so eventually it might exhaust you later on and uh, you might still try to fight back it's like illness or exhaustion and you try not to give up you know for that but there there will be a healing and there will be some sort of um, maybe straight from the universe maybe that's gonna be like a dream or a vision or some sort of realization that's gonna get you to the truth let's say of, of the things something from above will uh, intervene let's say maybe your guides maybe your angel a guardian maybe god who knows okay and those two cards that I pulled before. First card is uh, should you do those efforts? Should you make specific efforts towards this person? Again, strength card. So many major kind of cards. Um, strength card is an effort card, but it could also mean restraining yourself, uh, resisting from doing it. So, because we have this very di everything difficult, everything very hard um 
it says that there are many sad memories and um, you might be hurting yourself trying to pull this off and working on this it might be hurting you more and should you let the universe take its scores we have princess of wands princess prince of cups which is the knight of cups and two of swords princess of cups it can be attraction that energy fiery energy with prince of cups we may have the romance and love and two of swords is the no no kind of stop so i feel that even the universe it might not work on this somehow it might not work on this because it might be not for your best interest this whole relationship okay let me ask why why is it not advising you to be with this person seven of swords can indicate that this is not a harmonious relationship because it's an affair and um, it's gonna bring lots of pain and lots of wasted time in waiting for that person uselessly let's say so You know, maybe this person is married also. They cannot be in this relationship. And you're just wasting your time, basically. That's how it looks for me, this particular reading. And I just hope that um, you're happy. And if you want to be happy, you have to stop doing things that make you unhappy, which is wanting to be with a person that is unavailable, you know. And um, that sort of situation so this is our reading number three please let me know in the comments did it resonate with your situation or not and uh, of course everything is optional you don't have to share anything um so yeah hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful night and please write your suggestions in the comments below bye bye